some of you know that Miguel and I just got back from our epic father-son trip that we do every year. We went to the Grand Canyon. If you guys want to see more about that trip, it was awesome. You can see this video right here. Now, we had climbed down to the Colorado River from the top of the Grand Canyon, and then the grueling slog all the way back up the cliff. We finally got to the top, and we were met by our friends, the Epic Family. Hey, pretend like you guys just got here. Hi guys, welcome. Hi, hi. Now after set up a good warm meal and a great fire, community wisdom prevailed and we all decided together that the thing that needed to happen was an early rise and a full day down on the Colorado River. Good morning, y'all. Miguel is not falling off the top of the truck and he's getting our case out uh, because we're going to hike back down to the river. We're going to spend a good chunk of the day down at the bottom of the river. Um, but you guys uh, can see the river comes down and then there's actually a little sandbar. Um, so that's going to be fun. And then our friends, Epic Family Road Trip. You see Caroline's doing some work there. Um, but we're kind of relaxing. It's not like a big video shoot day. Um, you know, it's, uh, we're just enjoying the environment. We're enjoying each other's company, catching up. We haven't seen uh, Pete and Carol and Caroline, Pete, Dan. We haven't seen them for like two years. So last night we hung out around the campfire and we just caught up. It was great. Um, so that's what our day looks like and we'll share a little bit of it. Miguel, yeah. are you being safe? Yeah. Are you staying sure-footed? Yeah. Okay. So after a good breakfast, we packed up our day packs with everything we'd need, and we headed down the trail to the canyon. As we were starting out, a helicopter delivering supplies to the bottom of the canyon flew over. Now it's times like that, that small scale of the helicopter against the grand background that really snaps things into perspective. And I know it may seem like a small thing, but when you're standing there and you see all that wonder, it helps give you that 30,000 foot view of life. And like I said, it just snaps everything into perspective. So we're all out here, um, <clears throat> we're on the trail down to the river, going down to the river, having a great time, trying not to distract ourselves with chit chat and fall off a cliff. Uh, and then yesterday we came down here and right about this point of the trail we thought, hey, we're about halfway down. And then that's when we saw this big long switchback that goes that way. Then it curls around and it goes this way and it goes back and forth. So I'd say we're about a third of the way down. Almost looks man-made. <laughs> yeah. um, first of all, they look amazing. Secondly, we don't know what the, causes them. So if you know how those are formed, let us know in the comments. You'll always hear me say, try and collect experiences and memories instead of things. This day is a perfect example. I'll never forget this day and neither will my son Miguel. We had a great time hanging out with our friends and then we headed back up the mountain. Now when we got to the top of the mountain, it was time to sit down and catch up with the Epic family so I could share their adventures with you. We tried it on the first day, but The next morning, <laughs> we got up and joined the Epic family to see what they were up to. Hey, we're back. So, awesome night last night, uh, but it was windy. Yeah, we had to put the awnings up because our rigs almost went over the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but- uh, Into a sail. Yeah, it turned into a sail. So I think we were just talking about late, you know, uh, latest experiences you guys have, have had and um, no long-term plan. You guys are just um, kind of planning week by week now, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 
good. We have all of our dreams still, you know, dream trips planned. Uh -huh. And we'll keep on hammering away at them. But for right now, yeah, it's just week by week. So. Great. Like so many other people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're all in the same boat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What's going to happen next month? I don't know. I think I it's been good. It's taught yeah. us all. I think everybody, yeah. if, if you learned anything in 2020, is to be flexible and to yeah. be for me, anyway, to be just extremely grateful for the opportunities to get outside yeah. into the wilderness. It's uh, it's just, um, there's nothing like it, and it's so good for you. You guys always say adventure yeah. is necessary. It really yeah. is. It's necessary yeah. for, our, for our souls, just for our, us as human beings to get out here and, yeah. and camp and see places like this. And we always try to leave every place we visit a little better than we found it. You yeah, know? absolutely. And I think if everyone does that, we... Uh, we can share these amazing places and they'll just keep getting better. It also takes being here and you know just every day like you you and all of us depending on one another hey you got this yeah. thing yep it just kind of brings out the community it's yeah. much more you know I don't know um, it's kind of more real it, it seems you know yeah. instead of the daily routine right you know, we all depend on each other as a community and, and yeah these yeah. it is an amazing community yeah I mean, we met folks here even at this camp they're camped over that way <laughs> and they're just awesome people and they're yep. they're like come on over and we'll, we'll cook you some filipino food you know we didn't have a chance to get over there but yeah can you imagine yeah. i mean everyone's so friendly and just so willing to help and yep. you know we were short a tool to fix something and you had it and that's that's mm -hmm. part yeah, of the we didn't have a lighter mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> spark but yeah i think that's yeah. that's what makes this whole thing so great you know yeah. wonderful people beautiful places it's really a privilege to be able to do what we do yep caroline dan pete where are you guys going to take the channel i watch your i watch your channel i know you guys work at it very hard mm -hmm. uh what do you guys see what's what's coming up or any any stories hmm. Well, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> nominated. Yeah, uh, I saw that. <laughs> it, it's been it's been cool recently since we got trained on editing. Me and Dan specifically. Yeah, uh, to be a bit more that in was post production with X Overland, yeah, right? Yeah, you guys kind of yeah. did a deep dive with them. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's been a lot of fun to be in the post production of Epic uh, rather than just more character in the video or a part of what's right. going on, what we're filming. Uh, it's not clear how much effort actually goes into the the work of putting together a video. It's hours and hours and hours, mm -hmm. right? I mean, and something that you guys might shoot two hours of footage right. and then spend four hours or five yeah. hours editing, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. What right? were you guys saying is the ratio per, you know, certain amount of footage to how much? I think it's <coughs> roughly every three minutes of footage is, or no, one minute of footage is about three to five minutes post like editing Easy. right so yeah and them learning to edit as well has been super helpful to be able to kind of cut down the time we can kind of do an assembly like they can assemble the footage then I can start doing the rough cut and yeah then he does an audio pass and then we do color and it, it's kind of become more of a team thing with editing because before it was always awesome. a team thing with filming mm -hmm. so now editing has become a lot more fun and easier to to right. create more videos and everything so it's right awesome. it takes all that work to just show what's real mm -hmm. and what you experienced yeah. mm -hmm. and if you don't plan it and edit it mm -hmm. the experience is not it, it is funny as it seems it, it's not as as genuine as how you experienced right. it right, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. and so that's and so it takes all of that process and then yeah. data wrangling yeah. Data I mean, we, we lost data last year which was yeah. a painful experience the the <laughs> snow adventure i thought we lost but thankfully that was on a different card i was like yeah. Sometimes you learn the lessons the hard way, but as long as you learn them, I think, then yeah. it's not a complete waste. Mm -hmm. yeah. So guys, do you want to introduce what you're thinking for this year? What are you thinking? <laughs> well, yeah, something we've talked about a lot is uh, getting into adventure biking. Wow. With overlanding. Very cool. It's kind of moving to another level of adventure for us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's something we've just been researching a ton recently. and trying to get as much into it as we can um, and it, it's really exciting what could be happening down the road. That means we turn into support vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> spare bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Spare bikes and then we're, we're carrying all the spare parts and the gear right. and the food. Right. Well, but hey, we're looking forward to it. And it's kind of funny, <laughs> Pete, awesome. Pete and I kind of laugh because we started in an RV with the kids yeah. and then we moved to the Jeeps and now they're moving to the, to <laughs> the adventure. <laughs> it's just, pretty soon they'll be backpacking. 
<laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's with a longboard. <laughs> you guys are choosing. Of course, if it happened according to plan, it wouldn't be an adventure. And on Dan and Pete's newly launched channel, The Adventure Guys, adventure does happen. Okay. For a second, I'm thinking I'm gonna need stitches. Is he okay? Let me see. What on earth? What what That's we cool. found though is we would never get to a place like this in the, in the RV yeah. days, right? So we've been yeah. here, we've been to uh, Grand Canyon, but you go to where everybody else goes. Yeah. When you go right. to Jeeps or some kind of a four by four uh, yep. vehicle, and especially bikes, it allows you to just access yeah. much more interesting places, and yeah, that's why we keep getting smaller. Yep, but you're definitely getting beyond the the, the, the beaten path and going oh, a little bit yeah. further. It's, yeah. yeah, really, yeah. really re rewarding. It is. I mean, I you know, waking up this morning, the sun's coming up, and you're like, I just get to be here. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> it's almost a dream. It's almost yeah. like it's not real. Yeah, the Grand Canyon. The sun just came up over the yep. the Colorado. It's well, just amazing. Yeah. I love your story of you know <laughs> taking taking your dog out at four in the morning, and you look yeah. up. And it's just for you, like, and you got to capture that moment. Yep. I, I love that. I yeah, I mean, the milk. I, I got up with the dog, and the Milky Way was just like, "Hey, <laughs> I'm here. what's going on?" I was just blown away by it. It was just absolutely, it was amazing. Those are the the moments that make it all. Yeah. So special, you know. They, Caroline those... had that when we were up in the Yukon or near yeah. the Yukon. All of a sudden, she's just screaming outside, <laughs> "Oh my goodness!" Because of the Northern Lights, you know. And that yep. had always been her dream is to see that and to hear her seeing it and trying to capture it. And it yeah. was really magical for us parents, yeah. you know, to hear your your kid, well, teenager. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so thrilled, you know, about what nature had to to give. All right, we're planning, you guys are planning week by week. Where are you going from here, from this spot? Where are you headed out? We are heading that way. That way. <laughs> That's great. It's the only way out, so. 